sometime we what we do actually we have just map our account against the advance payment okay but uh, mm -hmm. we can also have the down payment request and against that down payment request we can process the down payment okay so how to do it and in the automatic payment program how we can just process the advance so for example if we need to just give the advance to the vendor and i want to get it processed through the automatic payment program so how we will be able to do it so that we will also see so first of all first of all if you need to just get the uh, get the get the payment request process in the system for that we have a transaction code it is f.57 so here you can just see it is asking for the down payment dp request down payment request so it will have a single line item it will have a single line item and in the fbl1 and it will be it will be shown under the noted item so here you can just see in the fbl1 and you will have the special item normal item one more checkbox would be there it would be the noted item so the system will just show you uh, these all your down payment request under the noted item so before it what we need to do we need to just because for the uh, down payment request for the down payment request we use the special indicator f like in the case of advance you use a so for your request you use f so what do you need to do you need to map your normal reconciliation account with the special reconciliation account under the special indicator f so how to do it for this we will have the same uh, t code so here if we just have the payable so we have the transaction code it is obyr so why we have this uh, t code obyr so that we can just assign the normal account with the special account now just try this transaction code in the system obyr so enter obyr press enter button now you can just see a is for the advance payment so under the advance payment we have already map we are working on the company code mm, it is 1717 uh, i think 1919 okay just a minute it, it is i think ca19 for the 1919 you were yeah. using yeah yeah correct it is a chart of account so we need to just use a chart of account ca19 uh i think mapping has not been done this is the chart of account for one it okay the name has not been changed uh okay let's have it for some other company code mm, uh, let's let let uh, have it zero for one it one uh we okay. i am just doing it again so this time i am just using it for ca one it okay let it be ca one it so you can just see in the ca one it we have already one normal account that we have just mapped with the reconciliation account okay special reconciliation account now the same thing you need to do for your special indicator that is f why because we'll be having first down payment then against that down payment we'll be processing the payment actual actual payment now just go back and here we have the f so f indicator is what it is the down payment request double click on this so here we have just mapped 100 uh, 500 uh normal reconciliation account with the special reconciliation account right mm -hmm. now uh we can just go to the auto first we can just process the uh, down payment so here we can just process it under the f-47 so first i'll just process a normal down payment and then process it then we'll be processing it through the uh, automatic payment program so let's have it on first of uh, 15th of february company code company code is 1818 currency usd and here we will have the vendor information it is 100 600 or you can just press f4 option and select your vendor then you can just enter here uh, special indicator a enter 
just a minute e just a minute <laughs> it is 10601 yeah you need to just use a not f although you will okay. map it under the f but you will just process it under the a because it will be settled it will it would be uh square off against the a only okay special indicator a now we'll have the amount let it be let it be amount as 47000 and business area 1818 and due on which date 15th of february now just go to the text being being payment being down payment down payment given down payment request down payment request now just save it so here we can just save it it is a single line item now to check the down payment request in the system we have the transaction code it is fbl1 and so go through the transaction code fbl1 and for your vendor 10601 for the company code 1818 and then click on execute button click on execute button you can just see these are the normal item under it we don't have any 47000 amount check your special item we have a special uh, line item of 70000 then check your noted item so under it we will be having that 47000 sorry 57000 you can just see the special indicator system is just showing you as f that is the down payment request now now uh, you want this request to be processed so how you will do it so we normally have f-48 so this is the transaction code we have already used in the account payable this is the transaction code now in this transaction code after just entering the information for your vent for your uh, vendor you need to just click on the request how i'll just show you so here we'll have f-48 so this is the down payment for the vendor down payment uh, entry we are just uh, processing for the vendor let's have the date as 15th of february document type as kz then it is for company code 1818 now for which vendor for the vendor 601 under the indicator a special indicator a and your bank account business area and amount how much it is 47000 then being down payment or being down payment given to vendor now you can just see there is a check there is a button for the request click on this so here the system will pick that 47000 and now save it save it just click on save option just a minute yeah selected and now you can just save so we need to just first select and then click on save button so after this again you can just go to the line item check your line item so what the system will do so here the system will not show you under the noted item that has become now your special item so where you will the system will just display it under the special line item you will just see will have one more line item of 47000 <coughs> now the same thing if we need to do through the automatic pin program so how will be able to do it so for that in the automatic pin program we know that we we have just come across fbzp now under the fbzp or fbzp we need to just go to the first option that is the all company code click on this and go for your company code let it be 1818 and then click on the detail button this is the detail button now here you can just see uh, we have the vendor account we have the customer account and under the vendor and customer we have been given the option special gl transaction to be paid so here you can just use f for the down payment request p is for the advance so here you need to just mention only f now what is this f you can just press f4 option you can select all the 
uh, special indicators also. So here, if you just select down payment, so system would be able to do it. So let it be F, and after that, we can just process the uh, payment. But for before that, we need to have a request. Without request, system will not be able to process it. So let's have the request for the same vendor under the indicator A. So what is the amount? Let it be thirty-seven thousand. Business area one eight one eight. Due on fifteenth of February, and down being down payment to the being down payment request. Now save it. Now once again you can just check under the FBL one and under the noted item. So here we have the thirty seven thousand. Now you can just go through the F double one zero. That is the transaction code we have for the automatic payment program. And here we can just give the date as fifteenth of February two thousand seventeen. It is February fifteen. Press enter button, or we can give the some other ID. Let it be fifteen Feb February. Now just go to the maintain parameter, and here your company code, your uh, payment method. Let it be Q. Then, then we have the next payment date as twenty uh, fifth of February two thousand seventeen for all the vendor. And click on save option. Now. Go back to the status tab. Click on schedule proposal. Start immediately, and press enter button. Keep pressing the enter button until unless we have the message that proposal is created. And once the proposal has been created, we can display the proposal. And if the system has just picked your invoice, then we can just go for the payment. So just click on the display proposal. So proposal has been created. So it has not been picked by the system. Let me check it. I think payment method may be different. So let's check the payment method. Mm, here we can have payment method with FBZP. So paying company code, and here we'll have the company code one eight one eight. Check the payment method. Go to the. Okay, let's have the custom vendor XK zero two. It is hundred six zero one. Check the payment method. We have a sign. It is G, I think. So we need to just enter here G. Save it. Now again click on schedule proposal. Now display proposal. Fifteen thousand, sixty-two thousand. Okay, okay. Let let me show you the line item. Okay. So here, go to the FBL one n and see the status. So just check both the line item, special as well as normal. It is one fifteen ninety two sixty twenty five. Just go to the choose button. So here you can just see system has just taken your invoice. It is thirty-seven thousand. So this is the invoice we have used for the advance. So this is the advance payment system has just captured. Along with this, there are some other 
open invoices which system has just considered like this 25,000 invoice you can just see so this is the due amount which system has just picked so this 25 and 37 will make 62 so we can just go for the payment so just go back and go for the payment so just press enter button and keep pressing the enter button until unless your payment document is created and completed so once it is completed you can just go back and check your so here we can just go back and we can just check our noted item so that noted item would not be there let's check it in place of it we'll be having this special line item with amount 37,000 okay so we can also make the advanced payment through the automatic payment program and how to do it so this is the way to do it